Hi, this is Charmaine Lee. The topic today is trigger. How many of you understand what trigger is? Trigger is something that causes you to react. React because you hear something, you see something, or maybe just somebody had touched you. You could have had a reaction to that. It triggers something inside of you to where you have a response. A trigger is something that from that response, you take action towards that particular trigger. For example, how many times have you thought of something that you experienced as a, a pain that you remember? That pain is a trigger for you that you will always remember because it's something that is so embedded into our cell memory, it comes to the surface, remembers, and then there's a response. It is that quick. It's only seconds that we have a reaction. So when we talk about trigger, it's not just about how someone will cause you to have the response. It's how you're feeling about that response. It is how you take action upon that feeling. Some, somewhat confusing there. When a child, for example, when a little child, say about two years old, when they respond to a parent, they respond by sound. So if they responded by sound, can you imagine when that sound is in a negative connotation? to where the child will always remember that for the rest of their life. What's amazing is that because of that, is that it'll continue as they become adults. And because it continues through their adulthood, a negative sound, a negative response, or that same vibration that they remember will occur. So that is a trigger. It is not something that we actually say, Oh, I will be able to change it unless we understand it. So when you look at triggers, look at first, number one, what are you reacting to? And if you know what you're reacting to, you'll be able to see just exactly the main trigger that causes you to have that reaction. Two, the other side of that is is it coming from your experience or is it because of your parent or is it because of a situation or is it about uh, an environment? Is it something traumatic? Those are all important as you start to identify the triggers. Three, when you discover what that trigger is, it's to start to claim, to claim what that trigger is. Oh, a lot of times we ignore it. We tend to believe that it's not part of us. It is a part of us. And it's not that we're bad people or we're not of value. What happens is that if we claim that trigger, we're able to work with it so that the next time it occurs, there's something more of a positive reaction that we can actually start to begin to build from. A lot of times we tend to ignore it. I know for myself is that as a woman and as a person and an entrepreneur, what happens is that a lot of different triggers can happen because it's always been said that as an entrepreneur that men are the only ones that can do this. And nothing against men. I have a lot of male friends. It's just a trigger. So it's something that is of value for you to know what that trigger is so that now you can make it into a an action step, an action step that would become your own way of putting it into motion. Because a lot of times we tend to follow the old style and realize that it's not working. And then what we find is become, it becomes more repetitive. The triggers become more in depth. So it's finding a way to just not just let go. That's, that is one of the cliches is letting go but it's a way to put in a new practice, a new practice as the triggers come up. So as you go through and discover the triggers that 
you are responding to or reacting to or something that causes your body just to tense up. Take a look at the triggers. Take notes of what is really behind that. We tend to look at the surface side of it, what we recall right in that second, but not looking deeper and past it to see where did it originate. Once you find out where it originated, what happens is then you're able to switch it. You'll hear the terminology as you see other series about switching. Switching trigger into something into flow. So when you take a look, put a practice into place and see yourself where these repetitive behaviors are coming from, you'll see for yourself why you have such a reaction to something or someone or maybe it stops you. So take a look at what a trigger is for you. And if you want more information, feel free to go to our website, which is www.foundationforinsight.com. Live fully, heal thoroughly.